Gizmo here and welcome to my next video. I haven't made a video in a while. I've had a few back problems. Uh, I hurt my back at work and I've been trying to recover from that. And uh, yeah, this is the first day out I've had in a long while. And I'm really looking forward to it. My chiropractor actually recommended that I go for a walk today, so yeah, I'm under strict um, medical instructions. <laughs> Hi, Gizmo here. So if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I make adventure videos, I make hiking videos, climbing videos, bushwalking videos, kayaking videos, and uh, I love getting out in the bush and I haven't been able to do it for a while. So it's great today. Man, check out this tree over here. Big old craggy old tree just there. That one just there. Wow. That's just amazing. Let's see if I can get up closer and have a look. That's one awesome tree. I'm not too sure. I think it's a black butt but it's craggy and all mangled and looking crazy looking. Yeah. It's big, it's old and it's, um, yeah, it's still got um, leaves on it so it's not dead, but it's not looking too healthy. I don't know all the tree species. I know a few of them. And um, if I spot, spot one, I do actually know. I'll point it out. Same with the animals. I know a lot of animals. I'll point them out. Um, when I first started making my YouTube videos, um, it wasn't long after that that I started having problems with my left eye. I couldn't see out of my left eye. And I had to get surgery on it, and it's all fixed up now. It's pretty good. Not as good as it was, but it's as good as it's ever going to be. So I see a lot of little birds and things like that and I used to be able to spot what they were but now I have trouble actually seeing them, what they are. I usually get home and look at the footage and I can work out what sort of birds they are. If I don't know I'll Google it. But uh, that's what this video is about. I'm just going to show you what I see today and show you some of the gear that I use. And if you like that sort of thing, just follow along and uh, we'll have a good day together. This, this hill I'm on now is getting pretty steep. Up there. Okay, let's carry on. So as you can see here, here's the trail marks that they have on there. Bikes and walking and horses. It says easy. Just down below there is a water treatment works. And how I'm going to navigate today is just using my phone with the GPS in the phone. I'm not anywhere particularly hard to navigate. I walk long enough in any direction, I'll come back out in civilization. So I'm not worried about getting lost. Yeah, well I've reached the summit on this part of the trail and uh, I'll have a bit of a sticky around. It's an absolutely perfect day today. It's almost right on the verge of spring. It's uh, the 28th today which is you know, only a few days to go until springtime so yes it's going to be good. I don't really have a plan of direction. I kind of know where I'm going. I'm heading towards the uh, east coast. Um, in that direction, 
try and work my way to the other side because I've left my car right on the other side of this park. I started on this side and just cutting through the middle of it. In the past I've seen uh, grey kangaroos in here and apparently there are koalas. I've never seen any in here but they are here. I've seen the signs of them on some of the bases of the trees. Just a nice relaxing day walking through the bush. And if you're an Aussie boy like me, I just love the Australian bush. What I might do in a minute is uh, get my phone out and just see exactly where I am, see where I gotta navigate to, and I'll show you that on the map on the phone. It's a big goanna in the tree just there. I can get around the other side so you can see him. There he is. Hi. Hi Mr. Goanna. How you going? Good? I use this program called maps.me. Alright, there's a plane going over, I'll wait for it to stop. Okay, I use this program, it's called maps.me, and I'm at this position just here, and that, that position just there, and I'm just going to work my way across. Now, this Bayview Conservation Area is a decent size. That's all good, just keep continuing in that direction.
Okay, I've reached the highest point on this trail now, and um, yeah, I came up that big hill. I'm at the high now. If the trees weren't there, I'd be able to see the Morton Bay, and I'd be able to see um, North Stradbroke Island from here. But there's trees blocking 360 degree view. It'd be nice. So I'll go through some of this gear that I always bring with me on all my trips, so you can see what I carry. This is a selfie pole I've been using. It's um, really lightweight aluminium. It's actually a mop from Bunnings. So it's just a little lightweight mop that has a telescopic handle and it was perfect for me to make a really lightweight selfie pole with it. What else is good about it? It also comes in really handy as a hiking pole and I can adjust it to the height that I need. I put a little rubber foot on the bottom of it to uh, make it more grippy. It had a plastic foot which was a bit slippery so the little rubber foot gives me more grip on rocks and things when I'm traveling and I can just hike along with that. With the camera sitting on top I can use it as a, a pole just to keep my balance. Uh, when you're going down steep terrain and stuff you need, a, need something a bit more to keep your balance. Like I'll usually use something like this which is a, um, a grass boy spear and uh, yeah they're really good for a pole because they're really lightweight but they don't last very long. And uh, yeah, you walk with these two poles and it just makes it a whole lot easier to walk. So that's that selfie pole. Walking stick, whatever you want to call it. The camera now is actually sitting on a homemade tripod that I made. And I used that the last time I went out. Now it's not bad, I used it as a selfie pole though. And because it's made out of timber with a lot of joints in it, all that noise came through in the camera. I had to delete a lot of footage, I had to edit a lot of footage. Of course it got too much noise through the mic of the camera. I've also got a big fluffy a dead cat which is like a big fluffy thing that goes over the microphone to stop the wind noise and the dead cat yeah it stops the wind noise but it's on a big long swivelly piece of um, cord and it was blowing around and it must have been making the connection loose in the actual camera joint so I got a lot of noise from that too. It's actually doing it now so I really should get over there and mount it onto that bracket so it doesn't move around. I put a little um, elastic band on it so I can strap it to the neck of the tripod so it doesn't blow around in the breeze because it's just a little connection, little little RCA connection and it, if it moves then you get static on your video which isn't good. So that's one selfie pole that I use and because I'm uh, only going on a day hike I didn't bring much gear with me. I brought this pack mainly because it has a nice tight waist belt and because I've had a sore back the nice tight waist belt puts all the weight on your hips rather than carrying it anywhere on your back so you can carry weight and it's all supported by your hips and this one's got a nice padded waist belt that clips up really tight. I haven't got much gear in there anyway. Um, here's another one of those homemade selfie poles. This one's got the uh, the fluffy mic already built into it so I can plug that on and I use that one generally for my action cam it's, and my action cam is the Sony FDR X3000 and there's a reason why I got the Sony FDR X3000 I'll explain that in a minute that's this little action cam it's it's pretty good you know, I, I think the latest GoPros now have a better picture quality but when it came out it was really good compared to everything else and it's still not bad even up to today's standards so I keep this the main reason I keep this because it's got exactly the same batteries as my main camera and I use all Sony equipment and all the batteries and that are interchangeable so that saves me carrying extra batteries for a different camera I've got this uh, waist pouch that I wear now this waist pouch I carry all my camera gear in it everything fits in this, this one pouch I've got all my batteries the cameras everything fits in this pouch that's why I bought it it's a good little pouch it started to fall a bits the first day I bought it because it's a Chinese thing and it started to fall apart so I had to modify it a bit to fix it up a bit but it's um, it does the job I haven't been able to find anything else that suits I put it carries my drone and my drone controller everything all in this little pouch so it's very versatile it's a little bit big bigger than a normal one so yeah there's my drone inside this carry pouch with the drone controller is in the front the drone controller in the front so yeah I can carry all my gear 
in this pouch and if I'm going out on a day hike like today I wouldn't have needed to bring this pack I only brought this pack just so I could bring a few little extra bits and pieces and show you what, I, what other gear I use here's another selfie pole that I made this one's a piece of cane now the reason why I made this one out of cane is because it's never going to break and I've got this big long shock cord on it I've got another little piece of metal on there that I can use to lean up against a tree when I'm using it as a, um, a tripod. It's also got a foot on it so I can actually put a little alligator tripod on the bottom of it and use it as a, like a tripod. I'll set that up and show you. Well, that screws on the bottom. It's a little bit, a little bit hard to balance but in a pinch if I'm going out with nothing else I can use that as a tripod and that I put my camera on there mainly just a little action cam but the reason why I made this one is because when I go hanging off a rope on a cliff I want something that's pretty robust it's going to get bashed around on the rocks and everything and I also want to be able to attach it to myself so it's got a nice shock cord I can actually attach this to myself when I'm repelling stuff like that I'm not going to lose it and that's it's sturdy and strong and because it's cane I don't get any noise through the through the connection onto the camera so yeah it's it's not bad for that that's why I use this one and I have this little gorilla pod this tiny little gorilla pod it's just handy if you want to put your camera on a tree or attach it to something and you can wrap these legs around things and attach it that's what that's for Now the camera that I'm recording on now is the Sony RX100 Mark 7 and I'm really happy with that and there's a reason why I use a compact camera rather than a big DSLR and uh, a very good reason I'll explain that in a minute I'm just going to set my action cam up on the same tripod and I'll show you the RX7 okay so now I'm recording on the Sony FD RX3000 and uh, you can control it with this uh, wristband, this wristwatch. You can control the uh, FDRX2000 with this wristband. I just tried it then and it's come up with a flat battery. And I had it on charge for about two hours, so I don't know what's going on there. I'll go home and check that out. Um, yeah, this is the Sony RX100 Mark 7. Now, this is my go to camera now. I had the RX100 Mark 3. I've upgraded to the RX100 Mark 7. And yeah, I get these cameras when, if and when I can afford it. Now I started off on an old camera that I had a Canon camera and I've worked my way up to this over the years. Um, the reason why I get little compact cameras is for a good reason. It's because they're compact. That just sits in my pocket. Like I can't do that with the DSLR. I can put that in my pocket, I can go hiking and do everything. All my gear, like I said, all my gear fits in this waist pouch. If I want to go out on my own without even the waist pouch, I can tell you the camera just sits in my pocket. It's great for doing that. And why I've got the latest one is because it's came out now with a microphone input. And a lot of these compact cameras, in fact, none of them have a mic input. This was the first, uh, this was the first small compact camera to come out with actual external microphone input. Mount. It was on my wish list for a long, long time. I finally was able to afford to get it. And uh, yeah, it just makes it so much easier because I'm not technically savvy with camera gear and how they all work. You pretty much just point and shoot and 90% of the time you get decent quality footage and decent quality sound. Um, the only thing wrong with these compact cameras is wind noise. They suffer very, very badly with wind noise. This is what solves it. Um, so you can plug this into the side now. I don't get any wind noise with this, except for when I was saying when it was blowing around the other weekend when it was really windy, I was getting wind noise, not from the mic. It was the actual static that was formed from this little plug that was going into it. So yeah, it's taken me a long time to work up to all this gear, but eventually I've got there to the stuff that I actually really like, really like enjoying using all this gear. I have no need for, to upgrade to anything else anymore pretty happy with what I've got. My latest purchase was the uh, 
DJI Mini 2 which is a drone and you've probably seen my latest videos there's a quite a bit of drone footage in there and that's my drone fits in this nice little compact pouch which I bought separately um, it's got a little attachment so you have to attach and unattach and fold the propellers up and all that whereas you don't have to do that everything just folds up neatly into this little pouch and just stays nice and safe in there so I like this little pouch that fits in my pouch um, yeah so that's all I really wanted to talk about today was that I'll just go now and just show you some of the um, scenery that I've seen some of the animals that I've seen because um, I'm going to work my way down now to a little pond that's down there so I'm hoping to see some water birds and stuff and um, just generally enjoy the day okay what I was saying before about the uh, not being able to see the bay from where I am I found a little clear spot in the trees just up here so one thing I'll do is I'll set the drone up just here and I'll fly the drone up and give you a view of what I should be able to see from where I am now even though I'm down in the, in the bush uh, I'll do that the other thing good about this little case is I can actually use that to launch the drone from What I keep forgetting to do is push the record button, so I'll remember to do that now. Okay, I've come to a crossroads. Um, not sure which way I want to go. I'll have a look at the map again and um, decide which way I'm going to go. Really, really steep down that way. Doesn't look too steep that way. Um, yeah, I'll just get out of the map again and check it out. Now it's, uh, I think, I'm not sure if I said before, but it's um, approaching summer and summer in Australia usually means that it's uh, wattle season so most of what I've been seeing today is early black wattle here's some here the early black wattle and then later on the golden model starts to come out the early black, black wattle usually comes out a bit before the golden model um, Quite a good choice of trails here. Uh, just got to pick which one I'm going to do. Find a spot to sit down and work out which direction I'm going to go. It's very nice. Not sure they want to go the steep route today. I'll just take it easy and do one of the narrower trails. Oh, look at that one, that looks pretty cool. Grass trees, it's pretty good. The horses aren't allowed on that, so it's more difficult. Uh, you might look at that one on the map, see what that one looks like. I 
think it's pretty obvious why this trail is called grass trees. <laughs> There's grass trees everywhere. It's really, really nice. Absolutely perfect day today. It's no wind. Blue sky. It's not hot. Pretty much good enough for more, isn't it? Because it's springtime, all these um, flowers are now starting to come out. On everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Look at that. Look at that little burst of colour just there. It's really nice. Making my way down now to the little pond that I saw on the map. It's getting pretty low now, I must be getting close to this pond. I'm not sure if it'll have any water in it. Okay, just down through there, there's a low lying area. I'll just cut my way through the bush there and see if there's anything to video. Okay, I've come to another fork in the road and uh, one goes that way, one goes that way, I'm going to go that way just because it looks good. <laughs> i got a pretty good sense of direction. Uh, well, there's actually a concrete causeway here. Oh, a bit of concrete. Oh, and there's a water dragon. There's a little picture of a water dragon.
so anyway that's it from me gizmo i'll see you on the next video if you like these videos that i do think about subscribing because it uh helps my ratings in the youtube thing i haven't reached a rating yet where i am um, good enough to get anything for doing it but my numbers are slowly going up and i don't do it for that reason anyway I just do it because i like it i like getting out in the bush and i like sharing what i'm doing with people See you later. Well, it is just absolutely gorgeous in here. Really, really beautiful spot. You get a chance to come out to the Bayview conservation area. I'm gonna check it out. So. Yeah.